Hi, my name is Katarina Sullivan and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Welcome to early voting day. The polls are now officially open for early voting. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't need to vote early, I encourage you as much as possible to vote on election day. The more armed you are with knowledge about the policies and the happenings in the parties, the better informed you will be on election day. By voting early, you may miss out on these policies and other bits of information that come up during the campaign. We still have two weeks to go, so there will still be some announcements. Ideally, early voting should only be for those who cannot be there on election day and for those with different abilities and needs. I'm such a big supporter of voting on election day where you can. This is especially important if you are a swing voter. Voting too early can leave you with what I like to call voter's remorse. The AEC has approved the following reasons for early voting. So you can vote early if you are outside the electorate where you are enrolled to vote, more than eight kilometers from a polling place, you're traveling, or you're unable to leave your workplace to vote, you're seriously ill, infirm, or due to give birth shortly, or caring for someone who is. You're a patient in hospital and can't vote at the hospital. You have religious beliefs that prevent you from attending a polling place. You're in prison serving a sentence of less than three years or otherwise detained. You are a silent elector or you have a reasonable fear for your safety. Early voting can be conducted by either an in-person vote or a postal vote. Now, you should have received a voting information paper from the AEC in the mail by now. We've already received two in our household personally. So it's a purple pamphlet that looks a bit like this. Uh, it needs to be the one from the Australian Electoral Commission. So how you can tell that is you can see here, AEC with a little government symbol. Do not rely on information from parties. This AEC official guide is the only official unbiased guide. So within the guide, there is a section on checking the source of information you receive on election promises, campaigns. I will do a video on this separately as the guide doesn't go into a whole lot of information. There is also information on who has to vote, where people can vote, interstate voting, early voting, postal voting, and how to work out what your electorate is. I will also be doing videos covering these topics. There is a page on how to fill out your voting papers. I covered videos on this during the last election, which you can find on my channel if you need a quick recap. Uh, and it also goes into how votes are counted. There is a section in the purple guide on COVID safe voting. There was a little bit of information missing from the guide around COVID voting, which I want to address. So if you get COVID in the week leading up to May 21st, so from this Saturday onwards, and you're told to isolate, you can apply for a postal vote until Wednesday 18th of May at 6 p.m. So what happens if you test positive between 18th of May at 6 p.m. and the 21st of May at 6 p.m.? This wasn't in the guide, so I did a bit of digging for you. This year, the AEC will be allowing telephone votes only for people who have been diagnosed with COVID during those last few days of the campaign. I'll cover more on how you can do a telephone vote if you get into that situation in a later video, as you won't need to know how this works until the last week of the campaign. The final section of the pamphlet that I showed you before covers what happens at the polling place on election day and what you can expect. And the back page of the guide provides phone numbers to call to access information in a number of different languages. If you haven't received your official guide, do not worry. Firstly, I will be covering all the information that you need in my videos on this channel. Um, but there's also a great online resource in the AEC website. So you can head to aec.gov.au and find out all your information from there. You can also check out some of my videos from the 2019 election. Not too much has changed in terms of how to fill out a voting paper, how votes are counted, things like that. Tomorrow I'll be releasing a video on the second leaders debate, which occurred last night. I have so many thoughts on everything that happened last night, so I'm looking forward to sharing those with you. If you do have questions about early voting, please drop a comment below. I'd love to help you out where possible. Please also like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your family and friends. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.